Welcome to Nourish Technologies. I am Mangaraju and in this video, uh, I will demonstrate about multicast delegates. So, what do these multicast delegates means? Uh, in the last video, I was just been demonstrating about a delegate. So, what is a delegate? A delegate is a type safe function pointer using which we can call a method. So, as per our discussion in C sharp, we can call methods in two different ways. One, by using the instance of a class if it is a non-static method and name of the class if it is a static method is the first approach what we have been following till now for invoking the methods. And the second approach is calling the methods by using a delegate. We can call methods by using a delegate. So, uh, by using a delegate we can call both static as well as non-static methods also. Both the two things can be called by using a delegate. And how to call a method by using a delegate? If at all you want to call a method by using a delegate, there are three steps involved. First step is um, defining a delegate and second step is instantiating a delegate and third step is calling the delegate. So, these are the three steps that are involved. But in that example, in that video, I was only telling you like how to bind a method with a delegate and call the method with the help of a delegate. And if you do remember that code, yes. So, this is a class which contains two methods in it, one static method and one non-static method. And to call these methods, I was just using a delegate here. So, here two delegates have been declared the first delegate for calling the first method and the second delegate for calling the second method. And this is called as a defining a delegate and the step 2 is instantiating the delegate. So, what is instantiating the delegate? In the process, we bind the method with the delegate. And the third step is calling the delegate. How to call the delegate? We can directly call the delegate with its name or under the delegate, we have a method called invoke. We can just also call it by using the invoke method. So, straight away you can just call it as ad of something like this, like this also it executes and other processes you can just call invoke and also call it. Okay, fine. So, this is what we have learnt up in our previous class. Well, today I am going to show you about multicast delegates. In this video, we will talk on multicast delegates. So, what are the multicast delegate? Actually, a delegate is going to hold the reference of a method. So, in the previous example, this delegate is holding the reference of the method adnums and this delegate is holding the reference of this method say hello. And when you talk about the multicast delegate, in a multicast delegate, a delegate will be holding the reference of more than one method. A delegate is going to hold the reference of more than one method and it can be called with the help of a delegate. So, that is what the idea of a, a multicast delegate. Suppose, in a class, in a class, if at all we are going to have multiple methods with the same signature, we can call all those methods by using the same delegate. We can call all those methods by using the same delegate. So, let us just practically check the appropriate process. I am going to add a class here, just a second. We will call the class as rectangle.cs, rectangle.cs. Now, in this class, I wanted to define two methods, public, void, get area double width double height and here I am writing console dot right line width into height and in the same way one more method public void get perimeter double width and double height. console dot right line 2 into width plus height. The formula to calculate the perimeter of rectangle. So, this method will tell you the area 
and this method will tell you the perimeter. Now come here static void mean I want to find out the area and perimeter of a particular rectangle. So, first I am creating a rectangle class instance rectangle rect is equals to new rectangle and once after creating the instance of the class rectangle I want to find out the area and perimeter rect dot get area and I want to tell the area the area is going to be 12.34 and the perimeter is going to be 50, sorry the width is going to be 12.34 and the height is going to be 56.78 and in the same way I wanted to know the perimeter of the same rectangle. So, I again equal to pass the same values 12.34 and 56.78. And now let me show you the output console dot red line and I am executing the class rectangle. Yeah, it is printing the area and the perimeter of the rectangle. So, we are able to print the area and perimeter of the rectangle. Okay, fine, well and good. Now I want to call these particular uh, methods by using a delegate and if at all you want to call by using a delegate we do not require two delegates here why because both the methods are going to have the same signature the return types are similar and the parameter types are similar and you notice it when you are executing for a particular rectangle um, the width and height will be same when you are calculating the area and perimeter so both are same. So, I want to call it by using a delegate if that is the case first define your delegate how to define a delegate uh, public delegate written type is void ok and just defining a delegate here um, rect delegate rect delegate and I am going to pass two parameters here double width and double height. Why am I doing this? Because we discussed in the previous video the parameters and the return types of the method should exactly match with the delegate. So, this delegate parameters exactly matches with the two method parameters. Okay. Now, let us go for performing the instantiation of the delegate. What to do? Create the instance of your class. Create the instance of your delegate. So, to create rect delegate obj is equals to new rect delegate and when I am going to create the instance of this if you just notice the constructor the constructor of this is going to ask you a target method and the target method and the target method should be a non value returning and should take two double as a parameter. So, right now our two methods here what are the two methods get area get perimeter matches with the signature. So, we can pass here how rect dot get area and now here I am just going to call the invoke the delegate obj dot invoke. So, you can directly call or you can also use the invoke method invoke passing the values passing the values and when I run this I will get <coughs> the area of the rectangle and now remember you can even bind up your delegate uh, your method and delegate with each other like this means without explicitly calling a constructor you can straight away assign like this also this is another way how you can perform instantiation binding the method with your delegate. Okay. So, right now see we get the same output when we execute there is no difference and now see I wanted to call the second method what is the second method get perimeter also by using the same delegate and also by using the same values. So, what I am doing obj obj means it is an instance of your rect delegate 
plus equals to rect dot get perimeter. We can perform a binding like this. Once you perform a binding, we will be getting both the two outputs. The two methods gets invoked for you in this context. So, one single delegate call will invoke both the two methods. Uh, to be clear here, I am just going to write area of rectangle class and here we will write, yeah, you can see you got the area of the rectangle and perimeter of the rectangle. So, nothing special, but you just notice said I do not require to make two method calls now. If I call the delegate ones, both the two methods are going to execute. Tomorrow, in some scenarios, a class may contain three, four methods in it and all those methods may require to execute with the same values. So, in such scenarios, we do not require to make four or five calls now. Simply bind all the things to one delegate and finally invoke the delegate. So, all the methods get executed. Okay? One more time. I am giving you an extra line break here and I am going to call this again to find out the area and perimeter of a rectangle with the different parameters. So, what are this another rectangle which is going to have the width as 47.87 and the height is going to be 34.89. Again, see we are making only a single delegate call but if you notice it will tell you the area and perimeter of that rectangle now, both one call, but I will get two results. So, this is the benefit or the advantage what you have with a multicast delegate. So, this delegate is a holding the reference of two methods. What are the two methods? One is a get area and one is a get perimeter. Both the two can be bound up and you can just make a single call and both the two methods are going to execute. And be careful. When you are using the multicasting, make sure all these methods are going to have the same signature, means the return types and the parameter types should exactly match with each other. And one more thing, suppose uh, if these two methods are value returning methods, be care, if these two methods are value returning, what is the problem you will face, you know, if they are value returning, you will get the result of the last method only why we get the result of the last method, the method returns a value, first get area executes, a value comes and afterwards get perimeter executes, a value comes and what is going to happen is that will override the values. So, suppose you see these two methods here in place of non-value returning, if I say return, if I say a return type here, yeah, double, double and simply writing the logic as return width into height and return to into width plus height. If I am going to write the two methods like this, now what happens the delegate what we are going to define here, the delegate what we are going to define here should also have a double as a return type. So, now what happens is the process you notice this, the invocation process will be like this, yeah, creating the instance and afterwards binding or the instantiation and now when you are going to call the invoke method, when you are going to call the invoke method, remember it returns a value. So, how do you capture double result equals to double result is equals to? What happens now? The two methods are invoked. First, it will invoke the get area and assigns the result of the get area in this and afterwards invoke the get parameter and overrides the value. So, the problem is it will display the result of the last method only, it will not display the result of the first method. So, that is where it is always better when you are using multicast delegates, make sure your methods are non-value returning, otherwise they will override the values. Okay? Exactly in the same way, if you have output parameters here, then also same thing will happen. Any output parameters used here, 
first methods output parameters will come into picture that will be overridden by the second methods output parameters then also what we get is only one result. So, always make sure they are non value returning and better do not use any output parameters in this context if you use them they will be overridden by the second method and only one result will come to you ok. So, the best process is writing the methods as non value returning without any output parameters ok. So, this is the process how you are going to perform multicasting of your methods with a delegate means the delegate is going to hold you the reference of two methods now get area as well as get perimeter. Thanks for watching the video for more videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT. Thank you.